Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent for the city of New York. Conti versus DSNY, still fighting ticket corruption, ticket quota corruption, discrimination in the workplace. Had a brief, had a nice encounter yesterday with a uh, friendly, friendly gentleman, John Quaglione, running for the city council here in New York City, John Quaglione. And um, I'm going to play the interview, uh, I'll play my uh, interview with him down in the subway in a second. I want to, let's see what he has to say. I never had, I, I, I hadn't, I saw the uh, signs go up, but I didn't know who John Quaglione was. And uh, so we're going to, we'll, I, I went to his YouTube channel and checked him out, see what he's, say, he's saying about it. You know what I'm going to ask him. I'm going to ask him about the ticket quota. So what do you think about the ticket quota, John? So this is before I met him and this is what's on his site. So let's, uh, let's listen. Let's see what he has to say. It's time the city stops using its citizens as ATMs through parking ticket overkill of businesses and residents by traffic enforcement agents. We've all gone back to our cars after stopping in a store or if you're a business owner, unloading your truck only to find an orange envelope on our windshield. We need to end this ticketing overkill and make it easier for you to fight these unfair tickets. Damn, John called called an ATM. Says turning people into ATM machines with the tickets. Damn, John's got some. John's got some game. John's got some game. He says it's time to end the ticket overkill. Time to end this ticket overkill. I like John. John's my man. John's my man. He's got my vote. Let's see what he said in the subway, man. This guy's. I love this guy. Love this guy. John Quaglion. Vote no, November seventh. Let's vote with John Quaglion. Take it away. Take it away, John. Take it away. Good morning. All right, what's We're at 95th name? Street train station. John Quaglione, I'm running for city council to replace Vincent Gentili. His term is over. It's an open seat, and it's one of the hottest elections in New York City. So we hope that people will pay attention to the race here in the 43rd district and come out to vote November 7th. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much, John. John, can I ask you a question? Is um, in New York City right now? There is a uh, under the current mayor, Mayor Blasio, and uh, Latisha James. There is a uh, rampant uh, problem with ticket quotas, uh, where the NYPD and uh, mostly NYPD traffic and the New York um, the San Department of Sanitation are engaging in ticket quotas. Now, ticket quotas are illegal. W w where do you where do you stand on uh, the aspect the the, the, the if, problem? Of if you look quotas? right on my palm card, hire more cops, reduce traffic agents. We're being, we're getting overkilled with parking tickets here in Bay Ridge, Dyker Heights, Bensonhurst, and throughout the city. And small businesses are getting creamed by a sanitation and the residents. I had a resident on 86th Street. He lives by a bus stop on 86th Street, and he got a summons. He sweeps every morning and every afternoon during the routing hours. And he still got a summons because somebody got off the bus, threw their bag of chips on the floor, and he got a $100 ticket that he had to go fight down the ECB. So it becomes... Yeah. It becomes uh, an overkill. It becomes a, an additional tax on people. I myself have gotten three parking tickets this week. I was one minute over when the ticket was issued on, on a meter the other day. So there are more traffic agents in this district and, in, and in, in this city with quotas, and we have to put an end to that. And they close night court for parking violations bureau because they have to, and we have to reopen that so that we can allow people who own small businesses and who work during the day to go and fight in person parking tickets because you know you get a better chance of beating the ticket if you're standing in front of a, a judge and not in front of a, a computer. Uh, thank you, John. I got to get in the picture there. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you so much.